Hey friends, we continue through the book of First Peter today. We're in chapter 2 as we look at one chapter a day, five days a week. I'm going to read to you a section from chapter 2, but I'm going to land on the verse that is my verse for the day. Starting at verse 13, Peter says, Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority. Oh, boy, that goes against what many people do today. He says, Whether to the emperor as the supreme authority or to governors who are sent to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is God's will, here it is, for it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Your example does more to silence wrong thinking than your words. That should speak to all of us on social media today. Then he says, live as free people, but don't use your freedom as an opportunity to sin. Live as God's slaves. And then verse 17 is the verse that I think is paramount to us today. He says, show proper respect for everyone. You mean that person that uh, is condemning me and criticizing me? You mean that person that is completely behaving outside the boundaries of God? You mean that person that has hurt me and done terrible things to me over the years? Yes, show proper respect to all people. Love the family of believers. Fear God. And then honor the king. Honor the emperor. I find those instructions interesting in our world today. Show proper respect to all people. You know, one of the things the church has been mistaken for or has done a poor job of, or even sometimes we get accused of this, we don't show proper respect to everyone. Whether they're insider or outsider, whether they're living righteously or living falsely, we still should show respect to them. If a person feels respected, they're open to conversation. If a person feels respected, they, they won't uh, react negatively when we have a different opinion. And the fact that they aren't feeling respected shows up in a lot of our conversations today. So start with that. Start with showing respect to people. Honor them for what they are doing well. Show, realize that they are a creation of God himself, that God made all men in his image. There are pieces of him in everything he's created. And so let's start by showing respect to people first and then have the conversations about lifestyle and behavior and policy and politics. And then the second thing he says is to love the family of believers. You know, it's interesting to me how much we have quit doing that. We we love ourselves. We, we love our biological families. We love the friends and family of people around us that satisfy our needs and hang out with us and do the similar things that we do. But do we love the family of believers? Do you show up in their lives? Do you make an effort to connect to people in the body of Christ, even if they're different than you? See, the way that the world will know we are true is by our love for one another in the church. Every church becomes more attractive when people outside the church see how much we love everybody in the church. And so we need to make an effort to do that regularly. And then he says, fear God. You are either fearing the Lord or you're fearing everything else. If your fear is in the stock market or in the health or the situation you're living in or your finances, you're not fearing the Lord. You're fearing the world. And so when you fear God, you trust him with everything else that surrounds your life. When you fear everything around your life, you're not focused on the Lord. So fear God. Put your respect in him. And then finally, honor the king, honor the emperor. That would be hard for Peter to write. And yet, it's through submission that we change the world. Just ask Peter. The more he submitted, the more it impacted people around him. Put those practices things into practice and watch what God does in your life today. We'll see you again next time. Have a great day.